Hi, I'm Ashley and welcome to Tip Ticks. Today I'm going to show you how to use the draw tool to make a fun and easy animation like this. Let's get started. So on my slide I have a picture of a pencil that I'm going to use to trace. Go up to the toolbar and click on the draw tool. Here we have a bunch of different pencil styles. You can change the stroke width, color, and a handful of glittery effects. For now I'm just going to leave everything the way it is and click draw. Then start tracing an outline of your image by clicking and holding while you draw. If you're not using a physical mouse like me, it can be a bit of a challenge but in my opinion the imperfections just add to the hand drawn look. You can try to do it all in one click, or you can do it in multiple. You'll be able to animate each piece of the drawing regardless. Once you have the whole thing drawn to your liking, you have to deselect the draw tool. Then you can delete your reference image and click and drag to select all the pieces of your new drawing. By right clicking and opening the format panel, you can change the stroke color, which I'll set to black, and I'll zoom out so you can see the whole drawing. And I can change the stroke weight, making the lines much thicker or more hairline. Next, go to the animation pane and select your drawing. You'll see a replay animation button appear. Click on it and watch as your illustration animates as if it were being drawn. Let's go to the animation pane and see what's going on there. So we have four different elements. I want the first one to start automatically, so I will change that. And the rest I want to animate in succession so I can change them to after previous and adjust the timings. That looks good, but to make that final animation, we need to actually have the move as a group rather than as individual pieces. So select everything and right click or hit Option Command G to group them. And there goes the animation we just did. So let's go back and add it in. It's automatically animating all of those pieces in a sequence, which is great. If I wanted to change that, I can go up to Effects Options and switch it so it happens all at once but I'm happy the way it's animating now, so I just rotate and resize it. Now for the line that it writes on. I'll go back up to the draw panel and make it as straight as possible. Now turn off the draw tool and change the color to whatever color you want. Then once again, add the replay animation to your line and have it appear after your first animation. We want the line to appear as the pencil moves off the slide. So click on the pencil illustration and add the fly out animation. Exit to the left, appear with previous. And adjust the timing to match the line drawing on. It might take a little bit of number tweaking to get this part just right. I'm going to make a few more minor changes to get it perfect and let's see how it looks. Using the draw tool is a great way of adding a little bit of fun and personality into your presentations. You can also use it to make flourishes, attention grabbing pointers and arrows, or just use it as a simple animated highlighter. Or you could go a little bit wild and use the draw tool throughout your entire presentation. If you liked this video and want to learn more about the draw tool, leave a like and a comment below. Also, you can always subscribe to get notified whenever I launch any new videos on my channel. Have a good one. <laughs>